Hey! Is this how you wanted it? Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or...? Wait... Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? <sighs> my name... is Ansem. But how far could a raft take us? Who knows? If we have to, we'll think of something else. Riku, a storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Right. Riku! I'm fine. What's that? <laughs> oh, he was right. Those wretched guppies are here. Well, it's about time. We settled the score! Ursula? But how... Is this the test? Come on. Uh -huh. You can work it out later. All right. Sorry, dearies, but I won't fall for that trick. You dare toy with me, you insignificant fool!
This world has been connected. As a Keyblade Master, Xehanort had a gift like few others. But such great minds are often plagued by a single great question. What is the essence of the human heart that weakens us or empowers us? The answer, he believed, would be found in the Keyblade War. What if the challenges of our past were in fact a map to the light and darkness that battles within us all? Xehanort had to know, so he renounced his duties as master and chose the Seeker's life. Since then, in many a guise, he has clashed with protectors of the light. Keyblade wielders like yourselves. And mark my words, he will trouble us yet again. We must be ready. Which is why you, Sora and Riku, are to be tested for the mark of a true Keyblade Master. No doubt you fancy yourselves masters already, but it takes years of training. Only a true master can teach you the proper way. Both of you are self-taught Keyblade wielders, an impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions, forget what you know about the Keyblade, and begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Yeah? But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the King and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a Keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. Very well then, Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. Oh. Hey, Neku, it's you. Sora. What? You actually still trust me? Of course I do. But you know that I tricked you, right? That guy in the black coat? He said he could send me home. Me and my partner. But I had to bring you to him first. Sorry. No big deal. When it really mattered, you stood up for me. And besides, we're friends. Right? Friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Neku. This here is Rhyme. Is she your game partner? No. Sorry. I'm teamed up with somebody else. Huh? What? Rhyme! Neku! <laughs> huh? Hey, wait! <laughs> Out of my way! Go! 
Sora. Huh? Joshua. Hello, Neku. How long the days without you have felt. Rhyme! I'm glad you're okay. Neku, do you know this guy? Yeah. Joshua. He's my friend. Okay. Are you the one who took Rhyme away? And why do you know my name? If you'd like to settle down for a sec, I'll field your questions one at a time. Let's start with Rhyme. I'm hanging on to her dreams for her. They're my portal. Huh? Let's just say her dreams are a gateway between worlds. Oh. <laughs> Next question. How could I possibly know your name, right? This town has a little secret. It only appears when someone out there has need of shelter. I'll spare you the details, but right now it's made up of my dreams. So of course I know you. I dreamed you up. I know your best friend Riku, too. Really? You know Riku? Well, yeah. I'm kind of omniscient. Then where is he? He's right inside this projection. In another imagining of this world. You mean... another Traverse Town? Can I get there with your portal thing? Sad to say, it won't work for you. My portal thing only opens for the one with Rhyme's dreams. In this projection, you're seeing another chain of events, in another world trapped by the Dream Eaters. As for how the world got split in two, I have a feeling you'll need to ask this guy. Him again! Huh? Who's that? Beat. Shiki. Riku. Over there! Uh, hey! We should stick together! <coughs> Perfect. You can't expect me to... <gasps> Shiki. No way. How did you get here? Who are you? Uh. By choice or chance, you cannot control what you are not aware of. This wakeless sleep will be your prison to wander forever. What do you mean? Riku! Don't you listen to that punk! Shiki's gonna be fine. She told me what's up. Hoodie here set this whole thing up, yo. 
He promised to send Shiki back to our world, and you was the cost of travel. Yo, this is seriously one half-baked excuse for a mission. Bet you ain't even a Reaper. All right. Who are you? Wait! Ah. I'm really sorry, Riku. Ah. It's all right. Beat. Watch her. I got this, yo! Messed up, man. She's right here in front of me, and I can't reach her. If your hearts are connected, you'll reach her. Rhyme. Neku. Sora.
in their world, something happened that brought their existence to an end. To keep them from fading altogether, I gathered up the very last remnants of their dreams and looked for a place to give them refuge. It was then this world appeared to answer my call, and Rhyme's dreams allowed us to reach it. Here, I thought they might have a chance that the pieces of their dreams could make them whole again. Imagine my surprise when I realized dreams take bodily form in this world. It struck me, by linking their dream pieces back together, maybe I could make them exist again. Maybe I could give them another chance. It can't be that simple. <laughs> well, why can't it? By ourselves, we are no one. It's when other people look at us and see someone, that's the moment we each start to exist. All they needed was for someone to see them, connect with them. And the two of you were a big part of making it happen. Joshua, just who are you? <laughs> Let's say, a friend. One dream is connected to another, which means we must choose in which sleeping world you will begin. I will return you to the Destiny Islands just before they were swallowed by the darkness and plunged into sleep. Once dreams take you, you must let them guide you to the sleeping worlds. As there are seven pure lights, there are seven sleeping keyholes. Unlocking these will both grant you new powers and free the worlds from their wakelessness. Complete this task and return here safely, and I will name you both True Masters. Stand aside, Captain Phoebus. I will not. What have these people done wrong? I have proof this family gave harbor to gypsies. That's not a crime. I can think of few crimes that are greater. No! <laughs> what demon is this? Oh, you are mistaken, Captain Phoebus. This is no demon. It is righteous judgment. I have been granted this power so that I may smite all gypsies, now and forever. This is all wrong. He won't listen. Once you've fallen that far, there's almost no coming back. How dare you? I am a virtuous man. Good and evil shall be made plain. Once the gypsies face the fires of judgment, <laughs> no, you don't! You all right? Well, I can't say you didn't warn me. <clears throat> you should take it easy. I'll deal with Frollo. Thanks. I gotta tell you, this is embarrassing having to rely on a kid. You wouldn't be the first. Sorry. <laughs> I'll admit, you look more capable than me right now. All right, be careful. It looks like that creature is heading for the cathedral. Okay, got it. <laughs> I 
she going to be all right? I'm fine. Thanks to Quasimodo. Quasimodo. Where did the creature go? It's... it's up there. Right. Wait. Wait, I'll go with you. Thanks, but stay with her. Quasimodo. Did your heart have the answer? <laughs> yes, let it burn. The flames will consume everything. You see? This is the power that has been granted to me. I see a sad old man with a dark heart. Again, you are wrong. Now you will be judged. Just like the rest! Judgment is mine! You're Ansem! Why are you here? Your best friend is never far. So sad. The cost of yielding to the darkness. You could write a book about that. But I embrace the darkness. And unless you hurry up and learn to do the same, your story will end just like his. I walk the road to dawn. Still afraid of the dark, I see. Wait! He thinks I'm afraid of the dark? No. Not while I have the Keyblade. It will guide me to the light! Hey! <laughs> 
Master Frollo. He made me live inside the bell tower, but the real walls were the ones I built around my heart. You helped me see that, Riku. I was speaking from personal experience. I'd say you still keep a lot locked inside. We all do that sometimes. There are just some things we need to keep separate from the world at large. At least until we have time to figure them out. I know the road my heart walks. Quasimodo? What are you doing here? Phoebus and I came to warn you. Frollo's on his way. Take what you can and flee. Well <laughs> done, Captain Phoebus. Thankfully, you are every bit as predictable as I had hoped. Mm. Dear Quasimodo, I always knew you would someday be of use to me. <sighs> I have you at last. Which? There'll be a bonfire in the square. No! Please, Master! Huh. Frollo! Hmm? I won't let you do this! Quasimodo? Esmeralda! Phoebus! He's taking her to a bonfire in the square. I gotta hurry! Esmeralda! To go, Quasi. <laughs> Sanctuary.
I should have known you'd risk your life to save that gypsy witch. Just as your own mother died in her pitiful attempt to save you. What? Now, I'm going to do what I should have done 20 years ago! Hold on! Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> and he shall smite the wicked and plunge them into the fiery pit forever! Quasimodo, you can't let your heart be- I know. I can't blame Frollo for putting walls around me. It wasn't the walls that were holding me back. Hmm. But my heart is free now. I'm ready to really see what's out there.
all that time, Quasimodo let himself be trapped inside the nightmares Frollo gave him. Hypocrite. You are the one who has made your heart a prison. You again! What are you talking about? Even if you are not the prisoner. Huh? Prison? You haven't forgotten. Hmm? What? You made us a promise. I did? That you'd always be there. To bring us back. Yeah. Got it memorized? <laughs> Best friends forever. Where? What happened to me? Roxas. That's me. Dylan. Alias. Evan. Yenzo. the ones who joined the organization here. I guess Xehanort doesn't count. But where are Bragg and... Isa? You sure we'll find Tron's source code here? <laughs> it's not here. Maybe Clue has it with him. Sora, let's look elsewhere. All right. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Wait, Cora. Let me talk to Rinsler. A little heart to heart might jog his memory. He's a program, Sora. Programs don't have hearts. That's not true. The Tron I remember, he had something. Hey, you used to be called Tron, right? Clue did something to you to mess with your memory. You're a little confused, but that's okay. Come on, remember Tron. I don't think Rinsler is quite the friend you remember. He just needs time, that's all. <gasps> Quora! Tron, don't! <sighs> oh. Tron, why? That's what we do. Put the most precious oh. memories in the back of our minds where they're safe. Or in your case, the most precious hearts? Not you again! The memory and heart are tightly linked. Oh. Samus! Rub a few memories together, and you get a spark of emotion, a feeling. But in a digital world, memory does not work like that. Nothing is ever felt. You can hold a thousand, a million times the information, but there is still no heart with which to parse it. 
Once, my master, Ansem, found an old system and made a copy of its master control program and used it to serve his own ends. This is the original data of that system. Here, data can be copied. Oh. Memory can be changed and easily oh. manipulated. Oh. 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 Tron is a digital entity, so why would he be any different? He obeys the rules of this world. Sora, what about you? Me? Your heart, memories, your data, and your dreams. The bits and bites that have made up your life so far. Can you say for sure they are not just copies of someone else's? Yes! My memories and feelings belong to me! You had better check. Make certain the box's contents match what's on the label. Since you have been chosen. Chosen for what? You think this is the realm of dreams, but there you are mistaken. Data does not dream, cannot dream. <laughs> This world is real. You haven't the slightest idea where you are. That you have already wandered off the path. What do you mean? What in the world? Combatant 13 versus Grindler. <sighs> Greetings, Sora. I've been waiting. Who are you? I am Clue. <gasps> so it was you. You're the guy who turned Tron into Rinsler! Correct. I had to repurpose his code. Well, unrepurpose it. Yes. Under the right parameters, I might. Huh? You have a little item called a Keyblade. It can open any lock, isn't that right? Hand it over, and I'll change Rinsler back into Tron. The Keyblade? I... I can't. This is what lights the darkness. A chance to make everyone happy! Ha! <laughs> Flawed reasoning. I'll have to take it by force. Tron! Why can't I get through to you? Fight, Sora! Cora! You're okay! I can't believe it! Yes. I think Tron heard you. Long enough for me to escape. You can do it! You can get through to him! Sora! You have to fight him! But, Cora! How can I... You have that key! It will bring him to his senses! I'll try! Let's go, Tron! Yeah! 
Deal with you later. I have to retrieve Rinsler. He reached for my hand. Tron is still in there. You and that key have a special power. So do you. Power to make me see it. So, does that mean we're friends? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> What if my memories aren't my own? No. I gotta be like Tron. Maybe we're walking the wrong path, but our hearts will lead us back to the truth. Turn this castle upside down. Hey, are the other two still out cold? Dylan and Evan are conscious again, but still unstable. 
They're resting inside. Gotcha. Well, I guess I'll give the castle grounds a sweep. Don't. If they were back, we would have found them by now. Hmm. So do you think they were blasted off to some other world, or what? I highly doubt it. When someone who's lost their heart is recompleted, they should return to the place where it happened. And if that world is unavailable for whatever reason, a refuge is made for them in the realm between, a world called Traverse Town. They would be sent there. Or perhaps... No, look. Okay. The fact is, we're here. We've been recompleted, right? So they should be here too. Plain and simple. I agree, it is strange. Ah, <sighs> what a drag. Could they not have been recompleted at all? Well, you see... That... Forget it. You know what? I'll bring them back myself. Huh? How, exactly? Why do I always get stuck with the icky jobs? This is mine. Had a feeling you'd be here. You! You promised that we would change the world, together. You broke your promise. I took the system to its maximum potential. And now, you see the applications at my disposal. I don't believe it. You can leave this one to me.
I created the perfect system. The thing about perfection is that it's unknowable. It's impossible. But it's also right in front of us all the time. You wouldn't know that because I didn't when I created you. I'm sorry, Clue. I'm sorry. Remember what you came for! He's my son. Go! Dad! Sam! It's time! No! Sam, it's what he wants. I'm not leaving you! Take her! Don't even think about it. portal is gone. These gates that connect worlds, maybe when we pass through them, we're challenged and changed. And it's not over. There are more trials ahead we have to overcome. <laughs> but we'll be ready, Sora. Huh? 
Claw my way past, then rescue my friends. Take 
I get it now. After this, Pinocchio and Jiminy's world gets dragged into darkness. And they end up cast into the sea between worlds, along with Monstro. And then, they end up in Traverse Town and the belly of the whale. That's when we meet for real. It's like Master Yen Sid said. I'm in the dream, Pinocchio's world is dreaming. And that world will never be right again until it wakes from sleep. Pinocchio! Jiminy! Let him go now! Oh. Hmm? Oh. Thank goodness! Are you all right? Riku and I look for you everywhere! Uh-huh. I'm just fine. Sorry, Jiminy. I messed up real bad. You and Father must have been so worried about me. Why, Pinocchio? I think you just might be finally starting to learn. Who are you? Me? I live and breathe. That was my... my dark side. I gave in to the darkness once, and ever since, it's chased me around in one form or another. The seeker of darkness who stole my body. A puppet replica of the shadows in my heart. And now, I'm facing me. Your dark side? Gee, Riku. Don't you have a Jiminy like I do? He's my conscience. He's taught me all kinds of important stuff. Maybe you just need somebody to show you what's right and wrong. Sure. You can't shoulder all your problems alone, you know. You must have somebody. A friend you can talk to? Yeah. Actually, I do. That stupid grin he's always wearing. He's the best teacher I could ever have. Gee whiz, I wish I had lots of good friends. You will, Pinocchio. More than you can count. <sighs> what now? Is something in there? Pinocchio, Jiminy, you should head back. I'll see what's shaking things up. Okay. Yeah! <laughs> 
I thought I was only sent into the past on the Destiny Islands. So why does it seem like time was rewound in this world too? Maybe it's like Master Yen Sid said, the world was freed from darkness, but is yet to wake from it. It's trapped in a never-ending dream. Isn't that Pete? What kind of world did I end up in this time?
Well, one thing's for sure. That guy adds up to trouble in any world. They just never want to make this easy, do they? How do you like that? What? Impossible! Looks like I was right in the nick of time. Sora? Oh, hmm? They're safe! Oh, thank goodness! You truly saved the day, Riku! I see you're as brave as a royal musketeer! Musketeer? What is that anyway? They... they actually say that? Of course. Every musketeer is taught those words. It's a very important motto and solemn pledge. You're right. And it does fit the moment. 
All for one, and one for all. Musketeers, get the princess to safety. I'll handle things here. Right. Thanks, Sora. Why, you? How dare you thwart me in the nick of time? This don't add up, I tell you. Hey, over here, boys! That's right. You'll need help.
gratitude for being so brave and saving us all. I hereby officially dub thee Royal Musketeers. Thank you all. <laughs> we did it! How was? Go for one and one for all! All for one and one for all. I sensed something was amiss nearly the moment Sora and Riku departed. Xehanort must have known what we were attempting before we even began. But you do know where they are! You must understand, this examination is in no way how the mark of mastery is usually found. However, in light of what they must do next, it was a necessity. If Sora and Riku complete their test by finding the seven doors corresponding to the seven pure lights, they will return home with a new power. At that point, they will both be true masters. However, the dangers make this more trial than test. But are they safe right now? Considering their ability, I would like to believe that they are. However, all my attempts to locate Sora and Riku end questionably. Xehanort is a devious tactician. There is nothing we can do that he will not, to some extent, be able to predict. So? As you can see, the organization's members are complete people again. Xehanort will be no different. We cannot afford another moment's hesitation. We must consider any strategy to outwit Xehanort and catch him off guard. I must warn you again. The road will not be easy. Fine. Let's jump right in. You waiting for me? Yes. The boy chosen by the Keyblade, Riku. What? It was yours first, wasn't it? But you succumbed to the darkness you could not control. And your prize, the Keyblade, passed on to Sora instead. Your mistakes always end up being other people's problems. Maybe so. But I'm here to change all of that. Once again, you performed predictably, although on a grander scale than I imagined. If you're feeling so chatty, let's skip to where you reveal what this is all about. I don't know how you did it, but you really have found a way to trap darkness inside your heart. And a boy who's immune to darkness is of no use to us. Well, there's some good news. Your abyss awaits.
Thank you, Riku. Say, can we try out that sound idea? It was amazing! What happened? Sora. Sora? <laughs> Funny. Just hearing that name kind of makes me want to smile. Yeah. That's how he is. What do you know? Riku and Sora. The sound ideas you two set free joined together. And when they did, they made a great and powerful harmony. Sora can find the brightest part of anything, and pull off miracles like there's nothing to it. It's pretty hard not to smile around him. Wow! No wonder the music sounded like so much fun. But I bet he's got you to thank for that. Having such a good friend means he could really enjoy it. Huh? It's like each of you is holding on to a little part of the other. Your hearts are always in tune, so they're free to sing. Gosh, I hope I can be part of the team someday. You will. Trust me. <laughs> So easily you sink into the depths of slumber. Uh. Why are you here? Yes. Beautiful world, isn't it? Almost like a dream. Why are you following me around? You really haven't caught on? Or are you just assuming it's all part of your little test? I'm not part of the dream. And if you thought I was, then you're softer than they say. What? But this will all be over soon. Just who are you people? Sleep on and we will meet again. Hey! What does that mean? Thank you, Sora. I can tell you found us a sound idea. Well, I guess we should try and put it to work. That's 
strange. Is one sound idea not enough? Don't worry. I've got a friend out there who will help. He's always picking up the slack for me. are all joining together to make even more powerful music. Yeah. Two forces are better than one. Right, Riku? Okay. Can I get in there to fight that thing now? Yes. But, Sora... I'll be fine. See you in a jiff.
Thanks, Sora. Don't know what I would have done without you. <laughs> oh no! Huh? The water! Oh, I'm in big trouble if I don't fetch it. See you real soon, Sora. Yeah, you know it. Master Yen Sid? Gosh, do you think he'll be able to do it? Hmm. It's clear you cannot teach a cat to bark. But Merlin and the three good fairies are aiding him in a place that's more temporally flexible. My hope is that he can at least learn to wield it. He certainly has fire. So I suppose it depends now on how strongly it burns. Oh. But what about Sora and Riku? Well, if we are running on the assumption Xehanort knew what we were planning, then he still would need to have been there. Back in the very place and time when the Destiny Islands were lost to darkness. Otherwise, Sora and Riku would have been beyond his reach. Mm. Gee, do you really think it's possible Xehanort could have planned things that far in advance? No, as a matter of fact, I do not. But what if he did the same thing as Sora and Riku did, and he jumped through time? For that to work, a version of himself would have had to exist at both Source and Destination. Not even Xehanort can transport his whole body across vast reaches of time. <gasps> oh! Oh no! I remember, Xehanort did give up his body! It was a version of him that was possessing Riku! No, it cannot be. Could he be that cunning? Possess that kind of foresight? <laughs> if it's all right with you, can I go help Sora and Riku out? How? You cannot enter the world of a dream. Where will you go? If Xehanort really is behind all this, then they won't stay in the dream worlds forever. Eventually, they're gonna reappear somewhere that we can go reach them. And we can even probably guess the place. Follow the hearts, and you'll find the way. That's something Master Aqua told me once. Hmm. We're going too! Ah, oh, fellas, you're my best pals, but this time, I really do need to go it alone. The dangers are greater than anything we've ever faced before. If something were to happen to Sora and Riku and me, why, you'll be the only ones left to keep this world safe. Oh. Mickey, I was not able to locate Sora, but I sense Riku's presence in the realm between. Trust your heart. And I know you will find him. Thank you. I promise I'll bring them both back safe and sound.
isn't this? Is the organization's world sleeping too? No, it, it can't be. I know I definitely found the seven keyholes already. So I've got to be awake again and in the real world. But why here? Oh, what's the <sighs> matter, sleepyhead? Who's there? Show yourself! We jumped through a lot of hoops to get you here. But it looks as if it's gonna pay off. <laughs> You're part of this? Hey, let's hit these plot points in order, Sora, Roxas. First, you must be wondering about your revised itinerary. Why am I here, not back home? The answer's simple. We brought you to this place, hijacked your little slumber party before it started, and ever since we've been both your companions and your constant guides. Before it started? Oh, the man in the robe! And so that guy in the black coat! And Xemnas! Oh. Bingo! You were able to go back in time to just before your home became a sleeping world, only because a past version of you already existed there. And I can see, in the past, you already met Mr. Robe Guy. Yep, he was there then to make sure you ended up here now. That's ridiculous! It sure is. It's too perfect. Who'd ever believe it? Which is why you idiots never saw it coming. You thought you were off doing some kind of test, right? We'll test this. How come you're wearing the same clothes if you're already back home? You are not gonna wake up, okay? Look, there's no real versus dreams anymore. There's just you, us, and this. I see. Fair enough. So what? At least I know who to blame for it. Ooh, I see you still got that angry look down. But here is where I tag out. I got just a few more hoops I gotta jump through. Come with me. What? Pleasant dreams, kiddo. Yes, this was where it started. At this point, I still had no idea that I was talking to myself. He cast away his bodily form just to set me on the appointed path. What do you mean? That is Xehanort, reduced to just a heart. The being you and your friends called Ansem. Whoa! Him. Is that? Yes. <sighs> the point in time that Zigbar mentioned. Me. Right before my world was swallowed by the darkness. To move through time, you must leave your body behind. Ansem first sent me on my way. 
and then placed himself here when the time was right. That is what set all these events in motion. What are you saying? That he knew everything that would happen? No, not everything. But remember, Ansem possessed Riku and saw his experiences in real time. So? That could only tell him so much. How did he know I would be here today? Simple. <sighs> Kyrie! Oh, ah! You've been here many times. Your first journey, your voyage through memories, in the datascape, in your dreams, relived again and again, like deja vu. King Mickey? Oh. Donald! Goofy! Pluto! Heal! 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 
Next time, behave. Riku! Kairi! I found you! Whoopsie daisy. It wasn't easy putting you into a second sleep, and he almost woke you up. So then, all that stuff I just saw, did you put that in my head? No. That wasn't stuff. It was a dream. The falling asleep part was definitely our bad. But we can't put stuff in your head. Hey, I got an idea. Ask your heart. See if it's got a clue. Well, my heart was aching. That's why I kept going. Oh, thank you, Sora's heart, for pushing him right into our clutches. Aren't hearts great? 
Steer us wrong every time. You know, right? Because you all have hearts. Axel, and Roxas, and Namine, and that other girl. I felt what Roxas felt. And they laughed together, got mad, and they grieved. You have to have a heart to cry. <laughs> it's about time you noticed. Indeed. A heart is never lost for good. There may have been variances in our dispositions, but a number of us unquestionably showed signs of a burgeoning replacement. <gasps> Once born, the heart can also be nurtured. Our experiments creating Heartless were attempts to control the mind and convince it to renounce its sense of self. But understand, one can banish the heart from the body, but the body will try to replace it the first chance it gets for as many times as it takes. And so I knew, even after we were divided into heartless and nobodies, it was just a temporary separation. Why then? Why did you lie to them and tell them they had no hearts? Xemnas and Xehanort formed the organization for a specific reason. Round up a bunch of empty husks, Hook them up to Kingdom Hearts, then fill them all with the exact same heart and mind. Translation? They were gonna turn all the members into Xehanort. Make more Xehanorts? You tricked your friends to... But you, aren't you scared of just... turning into someone else? Me? I'm already half Xehanort. That's nuts! However, through weakness of body, weakness of will, or weakness of trust, most of the original members we had chosen for the organization were inadequate. Thus, naturally, they never had a chance to attain their goal. Yet, even this was to be expected. <sighs> we have learned of the heart's folly, and we have achieved our other goals. This last excursion has proven to be a worthy closing assignment for the organization. Just stop it! You treat people's hearts like bottles on a shelf, but they're not! Hearts are made of the people we meet, and how we feel about them. They're what ties us together even when we're apart. They're what make me strong. Hmm. Duh. <laughs> You're strong because of the ties you have with other people. As if the Keyblade would choose a wimp like you. But no pounding. We see much bigger and better things in your future. Once you side with us. I know the Keyblade didn't choose me. And I don't care. I'm proud to be a small part of something bigger. The people it did choose. <gasps> my friends, they are my power! Those are just words. You, you've lost. Uh, 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 fine. See where your power gets you here. Xemnas, he's all yours! Your
sigil. So your name shall be known as that of a recusant.
You... again. You just make it too easy. I know you think you've won, but you lost the moment you dived this far in. You're in the deepest pit of slumber, and you've worn yourself down to nothing. There's no returning to the world above. What do you mean? We told you. It was not the sleeping keyholes that guided you. They are not the reason you are here. You've been on a path. One we laid out for you. That sigil on your chest is the proof. What? See, that sigil, the X, it tells us where you are at all times. You had wondered aloud before why we kept showing up where you were. It's because we need you, Sora. Or, to be more precise, we need what will be left of you. The Thirteenth Dark Vessel. Why... I... Why was it assured you would come here today? Because I followed my destined path, and I'm here looking at you right now. You can move through time, but time itself is immovable. Today, all of my selves throughout time were meant to gather here. And to welcome you, Sora, as our thirteenth member. These facts cannot be changed. What's gonna happen? I have now told you all that I know. We are all here, and what the future holds in store is beyond my sight. I will return to my own time, and grow into the man who becomes all these others. While I know this future now that I have lived it, returning to my own time will erase the memories and experiences I have gained here. Still, my appointed path is now etched in my heart, which will first lead me to seek the outside world. Riku. Your heart will sleep forever in the folds of darkness, and your body will be another vessel for me. So light gives way to darkness. Good night, Sora. Is that... Sora? Sora! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sora! Don't! You've got to wake up! Sora!
Are you what's trapping him in that nightmare? <sighs> Because if you are, I'm what nightmares fear!
Sora. Don't chase the dreams. They'll lead you nowhere. Just to an abyss you'll never be able to wake up from. What? What's going on in Sora's world? Why won't he open his eyes? Is he still in the nightmare? That is right. Huh? Ansem! <laughs> Sora can no longer wake up. No matter how many nightmares you consume, you cannot wake someone who has fallen into the chasm of dreams. What? Dreams hold our memories. Sleep holds our dreams. And darkness, it holds our sleep. Sora's heart belongs to the darkness now. Sora would never give in to the darkness! But you feel it, don't you? This world, the nightmare, the abyss. Why haven't you returned to the reality whence you came? No. This is a... Dream of a dream. A twofold nightmare. This whole journey, you have been inside Sora's dreams. And now darkness within darkness awaits you. The... What? No! I, I can't get loose! Ah! Ah! At the start of your test, when you struck out from that tiny island, you saw me there dressed in a robe. Immediately you knew something was wrong. So without even knowing it, you dove into Sora's dream. And you became exactly what that sigil on your back represents. A dream eater to protect Sora from nightmares. Me? I'm a dream eater? Correct. But you failed to protect him. After all your efforts to command the darkness and protect those you cherish, it is a shame you locked that power away in the end. Except... It's not over. I can still save Sora. So you understand what to do. Set the darkness in you free, and you can rescue your friend. Ansem. Or... Xehanort. You used to be a Keyblade wielder. But darkness stole your heart. And the Keyblade with it. Don't you see? That's half the reason I'm even on this journey. After allowing darkness into my heart, am I still fit to wield the Keyblade? Even after locking you away, here you are, haunting me again. So I get it now. There's no point in trying to hold the darkness back. At last, you see clearly. You know, when I look at you, there's this memory that flashes back. A secret I said I'd keep when I was little. The main reason I kept dreaming about seeing the outside world was because of him. Mm -hmm. My journey begins here. And now, I'm going back to the real world. And then to Sora's side. That... is your answer? Yes. I know the way. Consume the darkness. Return it to light. You can try. Yeah! Ha! 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 Ha
You're part of my heart now. Part of the light. Ever the fool boy. And forever, a pawn of the darkness! Yeah. Ha, freeze! 
accept them. Finally make it out of the dream? Sora and I have been split up since the start of our journey. Because Ansem... No. Because Xehanort planned it. And that means... We're a long way off course from the Mark of Mastery exam Yen Sid gave us. Alright. Sora's gotta be here. Somewhere. off my new vessel uh, vessel yes we originally had our sights set on you but you developed a certain resistance to darkness so we did what the keyblade did and moved down the list uh, roxas now there was a worthy candidate but unfortunately he became too aware of himself, and returned to Sora. Organization 13's true goal is to divide Xehanort's heart among 13 vessels. Thanks to you and Sora, we learned not all our candidates were fit for the task. But, we managed to make up the difference. And now, Sora, the 13th vessel, 
is within our grasp. Thirteen? Xehanorts? <gasps> what is... The real Organization 13. The Organization? I am Xehanort from the most distant past. My future self gave me a task. To visit the splintered versions of myself in many worlds and ensure they gathered here today. From the past? There are restrictions to movement through time. First, you must leave your body behind to do it. Then, there must be a version of you waiting at the destination. Upon arrival, you can only move forward as per the laws of time. And you cannot rewrite the events that are destined to happen. What have you done? My most future self will arrive soon. Then, time for all of us will return to normal. And I will go back to my era to live the life fate has in store. He can vouch for that. I'm glad I'm not too late. Mickey! Just grab Saurus, we can go. I can't stop them for long. Okay. <laughs> Mickey! <gasps> I said hands off! How can you be moving? Oh, oh no. Are you? Be gone! Yeah! 
Are you okay, Riku? Yeah. Thanks, Mickey. <gasps> oh! Master Xehanort! Huh? We were right about you! <clears throat> All of this was decided. My twelve selves would welcome me here on this day, when I would return a complete person. It is the future which lies beyond my sight. Why are you doing this? In ancient times, people believed that light was a gift from an unseen land by the name of Kingdom Hearts. But Kingdom Hearts was safeguarded by its counterpart, the Keyblade. Warriors vied for that precious light, thus beginning the Keyblade War. The violent clash shattered the Keyblade into 20 pieces. Seven of light and 13 of darkness. And the only real Kingdom Hearts was swallowed by the darkness never to surface again. I once tried to create my own pure light and darkness to forge the Keyblade, but the attempt ended in failure. In my eagerness, I had lost sight of the correct way to achieve my goal. I acted rashly. I can admit that now. What you did back then, your mistakes, changed the destinies of three of my friends! Ah, uh, but destiny is never left to chance. I merely guided them to their proper places. The broken boy who failed to be the blade. The misguided master who sacrificed herself for a friend. And the feckless youth who became my new vessel. I couldn't find a way to save them. But I wanted to believe that their sacrifice stopped you for good. Why? How was I so blind? I should have seen it as soon as Maleficent started gathering the seven princesses of heart. Yes. They were all my doing. I used the evil fairy to find seven pure lights for me. Just as I prepared thirteen vessels to fill with pure darkness. But you failed. Sora stopped you in your tracks on both counts. Yes, he did. That dull, ordinary boy. A Keyblade wielder so unlike any I have ever seen. However, I have not abandoned my ambitions. The seven guardians of light and the thirteen seekers of darkness. <laughs> seven guardians of light? Well, 
For Keyblade wielders, there's me and Riku and Sora. And my three missing friends, that's six. Then the seventh would be... Oh, that means... The Thirteen Seekers of Darkness? Yes, little king. Perceptive. But Sora and another on your list belong to me now. And that puts you three guardians short. But worry not. All of the pieces are destined to appear. Your seven lights, just like my thirteen darknesses, whose final clash will beget the prize I seek. The, the Keyblade! But first, the Thirteen Darknesses shall be united. All the seats have been filled. And now, the last vessel shall bear my heart like the rest. Uh, no! Sora! The name's Lee. Got it memorized? You're not supposed to be here! Promises to keep. I'll always be there to get my friends back. What? Bad timing? You had your perfect little script, but you kind of forgot to write the sequel. Now, let's find out what happens. <sighs> what now, you old coot? Our time is up! Why are you here, Axel? No, I told you my name's... <sighs> Whatever, Axel. Fine. Now let's get out of here. Right! Supposed to do that? I think so. <laughs> Goofy, Donald, you saved us. We are out of time. Neither the union of light nor darkness has been achieved. We must all return whence we came. But the gathering of the seven and thirteen is nigh. Let us finish this at the fated place, once your lights and my darknesses have joined together! Seven lights, thirteen darknesses. Master Xehanort has been busy. Uh, 
Ah, oh, Sora. Don't tell me your heart's sleeping too. No, Mickey. This affliction is not the same. Can we do anything for him? Yeah. In your Mark of Mastery exam, you were to unlock seven sleeping keyholes. By doing so, you would awaken those worlds from their prison of slumber, and also acquire the power to free a heart from its sleep. Riku, you unlocked those keyholes within Sora's dreams. Therefore, it stands to reason that you now have the power to awaken Sora's heart. You want him to dive back into Sora's sleep? But, Master, Sora's heart is down in the darkest abyss. If Riku's not careful, he might just get trapped down there with him. No, I'll go instead. And perhaps you may even succeed, Mickey. But there is no denying Riku stands the better chance, having dived into Sora's heart as long as he has. Hmm. This abyss. Am I in Sora's dream? Oh. What?
thunder! Ha! Yeah! Heal! Yeah! Ha! Ha! Yeah! I'll find you, Sora. Roxas? What is it that you're so afraid of? Huh? Hmm. Losing something that's important. Roxas? No. Wait. What is the one thing you care about more than anything else? Huh? Hmm. My close friends. What is going on? Huh? Sora! Riku, what do you wish? More questions. All right. I wish... to recover something important that I lost. Hmm? 
What's this? You were not the visitor I expected. Oh, Diz! I mean, Ansem the Wise. What are you doing here? Perhaps I wanted to atone for events of the past, even if no apology can undo the harm I have wrought. I felt that I ought to leave at least something behind. So I digitized myself and my research, and hid them within Sora. So this is... data? Yes. A clue, I hope, to finding yourselves or your lost friends in your hour of need. The heart has always been quick to grow. Each exposure to light to the natural world, to other people, shapes this most malleable part inside of us. Nobodies are not different from us in that manner. Sora was the only one able to return to his human form without destroying his nobody. That is a statement to the love in his heart for other people and the bonds that tie them together. Perhaps he has the power to bring back the hearts and existences of those connected to him, to recreate people we thought were lost to us forever. Our most precious treasures, even an empty puppet, the trees of the forest, and the petals on the wind. There are hearts around us everywhere we look. And it does not take superhuman powers to see them. Surely we remember as children the way our hearts made everything seem so shiny and perfect. Sora has a heart like that, uncorrupted, willing to see the good before the bad. When he sees the heart in something, it then becomes real. When a connection seems broken, he may have the power to mend it. He has touched countless hearts. He has accepted them. And he has saved them. And some of those hearts have never left him. Whether they fell into darkness or were trapped there whether they sleep in the darkness of Sora's heart, or were welcomed into its warmth. They can be saved. All Sora needs to do is be himself and follow wherever it is that his heart takes him. It is the best and the only way. The rest is in there. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Of course. Now, why is it that you are here? Uh... Uh... I kind of need to wake Sora up. Don't tell me he's gone to sleep again. Yeah. What'll I do with him? What, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> Never fear. Sora is safe. Huh? He's not here. You see, by defeating the nightmare imprisoning Sora, you freed him. Huh? You mean, the Sora wrapped in that black phantom? Then, you came here, and you were questioned by three young people. That was the final key to awaken him. Sora is awake. You can go home now. Really? Thank you.
young man. I do not believe you ever told me your name. It's Riku. Donald, come on, you're hogging it all. Ah, calm down, Sora, and drink your tea. Of course, it sure is yummy. Hey! Riku! You're safe! Riku! <laughs> uh, uh... Wait, haven't we got this backwards? And why are you having a tea party? You're safe, Riku! Oh, never mind. You okay? Feeling all right? Yeah. I've never been better. I was watching what was going on in my dream. And I could hear your voice the whole time. Thanks, Riku. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did we pass the test? Hmm. You performed truly admirably, both of you. <laughs> More than anything, I am grateful to have you both back from Xehanort's deception unharmed. And I am grateful to Lee, whose spontaneous actions turn the tides. I am also deeply sorry for failing to perceive the danger and throwing you headlong into a perilous test. This experience has revealed many hidden truths. And we must gird ourselves for the great clash with darkness that lies before us. I believe we need a new Keyblade Master. One with a new kind of power. Sora and Riku, you both deserve the honor. However, one of you braved the realm of sleep again to unlock the final keyhole and save a friend. Riku, I name you our new true Keyblade Master. <laughs> Way to go, Riku! <laughs> yeah? I knew you were gonna pass with flying colors. This is just so awesome. Gee, Sora, you're kinda acting like it's you that passed. Atron, you sure are still mimic some practice. Hey! Really? I'm a Keyblade Master? Congratulations, Riku! Uh, uh, thank you, Mickey. I owe it to my friends. <laughs> I'll catch up with you in no time flat. What? You want to be a Keyblade Master? Yeah. I mean, I came here to learn how to wield one. You? Hey, thanks for the vote of confidence. You know I was gonna come swooping in, keyblade in hand. But I just couldn't get mine to materialize. Must be in the snap of the wrist or something. Oh. Do you have to go? Well, I did doze off. I just have some stuff to take care of. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I won't be long.
Good. I was hoping this world was still here. Hmm. But where are they? This world is just too small. Sora's late. Do you think he's okay? Ah. Gorsh, Lee sure hurried back to Radiant Garden, and now Master Yen Sid's sending Riku away too on some mystery errand. Ah. You think we'll ever get to do something important? Huh? Hmm? Oh, welcome back, Riku. Hey, wait! Ah! Oh, oh! The Keyblade Wars of yore plunged the true Kingdom Hearts into darkness. And the Keyblade was shattered. But the light still shining in the hearts of children rebuilt the world that we know today. And the light from the broken Keyblade was then divided into seven to protect the number of pure hearts in the world. Seven pure lights. They're the princesses of heart. Indeed. Those seven pure hearts form the very source of all light in the world. If they are lost, the world will again give way to shadow. Thus, even if we deliberately avoid finding our seven lights to avert another Keyblade War, Xehanort will still target the seven princesses in order to forge the Keyblade. So, there's gonna be a clash between seven lights and thirteen darknesses? And there's nothing we can do to avoid triggering the Keyblade War? To protect the seven pure hearts, we will need seven lights strong enough to stand against the thirteen darknesses. So we're missing one guardian of light. Riku! You're back! That's right. Master Yen Sid. I brought you the guest you asked for, but you never said why. Huh? 
Wow! I have come to learn that you too can wield a Keyblade. I am glad you are here.